In this economy, I don't know about you, but I can't afford to go out and buy new makeup all the time. So finding ways to make it fun to dig into my stash and use what I have, I think is great. Welcome to the wrap up of my It's Panning Cats and Dogs 2 panning project. This project started in October of 2023 in honor of National Make a Dog's Day Day. And you may wonder what cats and dogs have to do with panning makeup products, but it is just a way to make it a little more fun to use what you have. All of the prompts have something to do with our pets. And then you take that prompt and go into your inventory and look for a product that fits the parameters of the prompt. But more important, I hit a lot of usage goals and I used up a lot of products. I will go into all of that at the end of the video. This project was created by Deb B and Danny. I will have their channels and all of the information about the project listed down in the description box. It is a fantastic ladies panning project. And while this one is wrapping up, there are a lot of projects on the fantastic ladies Facebook page and so if you're wanting to get into panning or if you're a hardcore panner already, then you might want to check it out. I am in the process of trying to think about what projects I want to do for next year. If you love watching panning projects, what is your favorite kind of project that you like to watch? Tell me about it down below. I still consider myself kind of a brand new panner, even though I've been doing this for a year. I'm still not real great with tracking and I don't do weighing and all that kind of stuff. But I'm willing to learn if that's what you guys like to see. I've also thought about resurrecting my PUD project for next year. If you're not sure what PUD is, it's Project Use Up the Dribs and Drabs. And I created that, I think, in 2022? I'd have to go back and check. It might have even been 2021. And I still have a basket that when I have a product that gets to be almost gone, I toss it in it, and then I can focus on that basket and using up products. And the first year that I did PUD, I used up 60 three makeup products just by focusing on the ones that had just a little bit left. Anyway, I noticed that my friend Gloria over at Makeup and More with Gloria P, I'll have her link down below, just recently started up the PUD project and I was really excited to see that it was getting some new life. I might even propose it over on the Fantastic Ladies and see if anybody else is interested in it. We'll see. Time to stop rambling and get into the Panning Cats and Dogs project. So for this project, I just kept track of things on notebook paper that I put in the bottom of the basket with a pencil and I could keep track of usage goals, all of that kind of stuff really easily because it was all right there. So going back to my paper, now this one I actually was supposed to update in September, but I was so busy with plays and stuff that I didn't get it done. And then I realized that it was going to end in October. So this is actually a three month update. The first item that I had was for the prompt Beagle, and that is a scent hound. So that was any scented product. And this has actually been in here since May. And that is my Sea Island Cotton Body Mist from Bath and Body Works. When I brought it in, I was a little bit higher than this mark because I didn't mark it the first month. And then each time I updated, that's where I was. And now you can see there is, it's not completely gone. I was hoping it would be gone, but there is still a little bit left in there and it still comes out. I had recorded when I updated this last in July that I had used it 35 times. I have written down on the paper that I have used it 40 times. So that's 75. However, I don't think I've written down the tick mark on this in at least two months. That's the problem with me and usage goals. I tend to stop making tick marks but I use it every day that I put fragrance on and I put fragrance on almost every day. So I would say easily 20 days a month I'm wearing this, if not more. So let's say another 60 times in August, September, and October, I've easily used this over a hundred times since I brought it into the project in May. And like I said, when I brought it in, I was about right there. Over a hundred uses and it's still not gone. So I am going to keep using it. I think it will be gone by the end of the year, but it's not gone by the end of this project. If you have a whole wardrobe of these, they're going to be around for a long time. The second item that I had in my basket, by the way, I did this as a five product rolling project. And so I had five products in at any given time. Sometimes I couldn't count and I ended up with six. That's the way it goes sometimes. But when I finished something, then I would pick that number of prompts the following month and anything that I hadn't finished my usage goal on, 
then it would get rolled over. So the next item was for the prompt balls or toys, and that was any item that rolls away. Could have been lipstick, a liner, a mascara. I chose a mascara. It's the e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara. This is the dupe for the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Really like this. It has this great curved wand that, kind of, that grabs your lashes and does curl them and help hold them. And I wanted to finish this. I had it in my inventory for a while. It was getting some age on it. Felt like it was starting to get a little clumpy. Oddly, the more I used it, the better it worked because I think I was mixing it up. I don't know. This also came into the project in May, and I have written down that I used it 26 times, but similar to the body spray, I stopped making tick marks somewhere back probably at the end of August. So I would guesstimate that I've used this probably about 60 times total, 21, and then Jen just guessing 40-ish times. I don't know. And I said I was going to declutter at the end of the project if it wasn't gone, but that's because I thought it wasn't working and it still kind of is. So I don't think I'm going to get rid of it. I think I'm going to put it back in my mascara basket because I am going to do a mascara declutter at the end of the year because I have several that I've had longer than three months. I don't throw away mascaras in three months, you guys. I'm not telling you what you should do, but I don't. And I don't really have a problem with size and that kind of thing. If I did, I'd be a lot more careful about it. But anyway, at the end of December, I am going to get rid of several of my old mascaras. The next three were new in August. The first one was for the prompt Best of Breed. And this prompt said, tell about your pet. So I got to talk about my dog, Kyla, and my cat, Leonard. And then the prompt was for an item that you just absolutely love. And I put in the Elf Soft Glam Foundation. This was new to me this summer and it is just so good. I did a full review of this product and I compared it to the only other e.l.f. foundation I can wear and that's the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. This was a $6 foundation, this is an $8 foundation. I kind of feel like this one is replacing this one. It's so good, you guys, so good. And my, my goal was to use it 25 times. I met and exceeded that easily. I'm excited for this to go back into my regular rotation basket and not be off to the side because once I was done, I kind of moved on to other things and forgot it was sitting over there. The fourth prompt was cat litter, and that is a product that makes a mess. And for that, I put in the Flower Beauty Spotlight Highlighter. This is not the only product I have like this that makes a mess. Anything in this tube with that sponge on top makes a mess, and I just really don't like it. This is almost the exact same component, except it's got a squeezy tube on the top and it's not a mess. And so my suggestion, because I know that I have so many beauty companies who are watching my channel, just waiting for my opinion, is dish the sponge and just put it in a squeezy tube, please. But anyway, this makes a mess. So I put it in there. It's still a beautiful product, even if the component is a headache. And my goal was to use it 15 times. I actually used it 17 times and then stopped keeping track. And the final prompt in this project was boop. And that is something you use on your nose. Now I already had a highlighter, so I wasn't gonna bring in another one. And so what I decided on was the Moira Soft Focus Waterproof Setting Powder. I have it in the shade 200. And my goal was to hit pan on the powder. And I would say I succeeded. I used this 22 times to, the, to get to pan and then I've continued to use it since. In this economy, I don't know about you, but I can't afford to go out and buy new makeup all the time. So finding ways to make it fun to dig into my stash and use what I have, I think is great. And there is such a sense of accomplishment when you reach a goal or finish a product. So let's see how many products I got through in this one panning project. There were 30 prompts in this project but somehow I managed to bring in 33 products. And I think that's because there were a couple of them that I brought in two products because I only had a little bit of one and I didn't want to finish it up in like the first four days and then have nothing to work on. So a couple of times I brought in two products. So 33 total products were brought into the project. I met usage goals on 26 of those. Now at the beginning, I set easy goals of like five uses, seven uses, something like that, because 
I'd never done any painting before, and I didn't want to set myself up to fail. I wanted to have really successful months, those early months, because success builds upon success. And then as I got more used to it, I set longer goals, finish goals, that sort of thing. So 26 items I met my usage goals on, which means I completely finished up seven makeup and beauty items because of this project. And because of that, because I had fun, met my usage goals, finished up products, I think for my first panning project, it was a very successful project. As I said, I'll be considering what projects I want to consider for next year, and I would love your input. If you want to see the whole playlist, I will link that and you can go check it out. I hope you all have a beautiful, blessed day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.